hey guys and welcome back to my channel yet again so in today's video i'm just going to be showing you guys how i prep my hair for my one month cornrows or how i prep my hair for um cornrows because it really doesn't matter how long i wear them in my hair but i am just gonna run through how i prep my hair for these cornrows so let's go ahead and get started let's hop into the video but before we do that if this is your first time finding my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button like comment subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you're alerted whenever i post a new video okay so let's go ahead and hop into the video okay so this is really what's going on with my hair right now it looks really dry it is really well it's not dry dry but it's like it's not wet at all so I did just wash my hair about two days ago and then I did a deep condition treatment yesterday and today I'm gonna go ahead and braid my hair up so typically I do like to do some type of deep conditioner or some type of conditioner treatment before I put my hair in braids because I am just trying to add as much moisture into my hair as possible so yeah because as you know if your hair is braided up you can't really like get to your hair that easily because it's braided so what can you do you gotta prep it before you put it in the braid so I am just gonna go ahead and start off with showing you guys the first product that I'm going to be putting in my hair let's see so the first product that I like to kind of add to my hair before I braid my hair down is this um, Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go Curl Cocktail. This is what it looks like and I've used up pretty much all of it. This stuff smells so good. But what I am going to do is just take whatever is left in this jar and just apply it all over my hair. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Let's just put this work this into our hair y'all this stuff smells so 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 good I would highly recommend trying this product I like it a lot it smells really good it is pretty moisturizing so I would definitely recommend using this like I'm literally scraping <laughs> every little drop out I do need to get some more but we'll do that soon but let me go ahead and just get this hair really good. Let me part this last little, get this last little bit. Okay, so this is the first product that I usually like to use. I just like to go in with a lot of moisturizer, honestly because I do want my hair to stay moisturized while it's in these braids so honestly usually I add more like way more of this but I am all out so I'm gonna have to buy some more I really don't remember how much that product is I do know it's actually kind of pricey I think it's like $12 or 11 something like that it's pretty expensive but it lasted me a while so you know we're all good there so now i'm just gonna take this cream of nature curl repair leave-in conditioner and i'm going to apply this i do have the sample because i've never tried this before but i do typically like to put a leave-in in my hair come on now we got a little we got a little hole we're just gonna use this little little hole here so i'm just gonna apply this all over my hair And honestly, most of the time I do like to add water when I am braiding up my hair. I'm kind of on the fence of if I even want to add water this time. I might, might <laughs> but I don't know. I'm just going to apply these products first. Usually I do wet my hair, but I do it braid by braid. But I don't really know if I want my braids to be wet. I'm just probably going to um, not add any water, add a good amount of product, and detangle my hair like that. So... If I'm missing any parts, y'all let me know. It's <laughs> not like y'all can tell me. But yeah, let me just work this through. Okay. So we are working this into our hair. 
and now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna spray my hair lightly or just spray my ends lightly with a little bit of rice water just to kind of get the rice water on my hair strands before I braid them up so I did just make a fresh fresh batch but I haven't poured it into the bottle yet this is what it looks like this is the rice water that I've been letting sit it's been in here for about 24 hours I believe probably a little bit more maybe about probably a day and a half it's been sitting and honestly it smells like tea <laughs> because the, the ingredients that are inside of here inside this steep bag it is um lavender flowers dry lavender flowers rice and peppermint um leaves so like with it sitting like this it smells like a cup of tea <laughs> honestly that's like weird but it's good for your hair and it smells good so far so that's always a plus and the reason why it looks like this color and it's not like the clear white not how do you have something clear and white <laughs> it's not like the white cloudy color is because of the lavender and peppermint obviously they're going to leave a color as well but honestly the benefits come on so lavender and peppermint are both two um ingredients that are proven to help hair growth i'm about to go ahead and pour it into this bottle okay so we're just gonna pour it a nice stream So we're just going to pour the rest of this. Okay, and you do want to leave a little bit of space inside of your jar because now we're going to go ahead and add the essential oils to this mixture. So it is going to come with the lavender oil, castor oil, lemongrass oil, peppermint oil, and the eucalyptus. And these are all good for your hair. So let's go ahead and pour this into I can open it because my hands are slippery. So whatever is easiest for you, but I'm just gonna dump it in like this. It smells so good. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and shake it up. And you do wanna shake it every time you use it because it does have oil in it. So you do want it to kind of mix around when you're using it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly spray my hair down really fast. We're just gonna do a light mist. Oh, this smells so good. I just wanna add a little bit of extra moisture before I go ahead and braid my hair up. All right, so that's cool, that's good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and braid up my hair. Y'all, this smells so good. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly braid up my hair. I'm not gonna braid up my hair entirely on camera. I'm just gonna probably do one or two and just show you guys what I do. And honestly, most of the time, I don't even part my hair straight. So I'm just gonna um, part it down like this and then clip the rest up. And I do like my hair to have a good amount of slip whenever I am braiding it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more product and this is the, um, let me show you guys. I've been using this like for the past couple days. This is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Shea Butter and Flaxseed Oil Curling Cream. And this is just to add a little bit more slip to my hair so that it's easier for me to braid it. And I'm gonna get those roots really good too because that's honestly what makes it like e either easy or difficult for you to comb your hair. I mean, not comb, to braid your hair. So I'm just gonna do a light detangle because I don't want my hair to be ripping as I am braiding it. So let's just go ahead and detangle this. And now I'm just gonna start braiding.
Okay, so my first braid is done, and as you can see, it is pretty tight. So what I'm gonna do is probably do one more braid on camera, and then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and come back to you guys when my hair is completely braided up, because you did see what products I added, so let's just go ahead and get through this braid and part real fast. So let me go ahead and part one more section and show you guys one more braid. Alright, so that is pretty much how I braid my hair down. What I'm going to do is finish braiding my hair up, then I will come back to you guys shortly when my hair is finished being braided. Finished? When my hair is being finished braided. I'm going to come back to you guys when my hair is done being braided up. So, yeah. Alright, you guys, so I am finished putting the braids in my hair. And I think I put about seven braids in my hair. They're not the neatest braids, but listen, they will do the job. So this is what they look like. This is what they look like all the way around. Some are a little bit bigger than others. This is the biggest one, but y'all can see that scalp. All right, so that is pretty much it for these braids. What I'm about to do really quickly is I'm just gonna go ahead and nourish my scalp and typically when i keep my cornrows in i do spray this on my scalp every day sometimes i might miss a day but but at least i spray it on my scalp every other day but i am gonna do every day this time so i'm just gonna go ahead and hit the scalp you know what i'm saying Alright, so that is pretty much how I prep my hair for the cornrows. Um, I do also spray the rice water on my scalp whenever I finish putting the braids in my hair. And typically it's easier for me to get to my scalp with this um, product when my hair is in braids. So I'm definitely happy about that. Um, this is pretty much what I do. And at the end of the day, I just like smack a wig on or something and keep it moving. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to keep these braids in for either two weeks or a month this time. So we're going to see how much my hair has grown with this product or with the rice water that I'm spraying on my scalp. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. This will be linked down below if you do want to purchase the rice water kit. All of the ingredients and all of all of the ingredients um, will be in that kit for you. And I will have it linked down below if you're interested in trying this out and seeing if it works for your hair as well. 
and also I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching my channel like comment subscribe if you have not already hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you can be alerted whenever I post a new video again I want to say thank you guys so much for watching my channel and I will see you guys next time in my next video so goodbye hey guys so i'm trying something new out with my content so if you made it to the end of this video you are definitely a trooper and i thank you guys so much so so much for your comments and your support like comment subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time in my next video